All right, I'm going to uh, demonstrate a, a current diagram problem. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, I need the current diagram from the current tables, and then I also need a couple triangles. So uh, let's take a look at what problem we're going to do. We're going to take a look at this one. So you're bound for Baltimore via Cape Henry. All right, so that means we got to use the Chesapeake Bay chart. Cape Henry is the mouth, and Baltimore is all the way up at the top. So we're going that way. We're northbound. Great. So uh, you're bound for Baltimore via Cape Henry on a 15-knot ship. Okay, so we're making 15 knots. So I got to find my north, since I'm northbound, I'm going in, I'm going up that way, I use the northbounds. Uh, 15, I'm going to use that speed line right there. Okay, great. So uh, the, the flood begins at 1800 ZD plus 5. So we're in Eastern Standard Time. I know that because it says Eastern Standard Time. It also says ZD plus 5. The East Coast of the United States is on ZD plus 5. Uh, that's the standard meridian. Uh, at what time would you depart from Chesapeake Bay entrance to have the most favorable current? So if I'm going up, I want to have a flood. So at what time would I have the best flood? Okay. So how are we going to do this? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our triangles. All right. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the thin black line here on my triangle to really get, I'm not going to use the edge of my triangle. I'm going to use that thin black line so I can really get this pretty well precise. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. All right. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to slide that triangle over here. Okay. Now, this is the ebb, so current going out of the Chesapeake Bay. That's ebb. That's flood, flood. So anyway, I want to be somewhere in the flood if I want a favorable current. I want something following me. So I start looking at this, and I'm like, well, okay. So there's the, the boundary between the ebb and the flood, so I probably don't want to be in there. So here's a 0.7 knots, a point a 1 knot. Oh, see, this is in the center of this is where the, the flood is the strongest. So I'm going to want to put my triangle kind of in the middle there and then just look. All right, so uh, what do I got? I got down here, I've got a one knot, one knot. All right, so one knot, one knot, one knot, one knot, 1.1.9. 1 1 all right, so I think I'm going to probably want to be somewhere about in here-ish, okay? Somewhere about right here, maybe. I'm going to make a little pencil mark, okay, down here on the bottom of this scale. Okay, so this is, it may be difficult to read, but this is hours after flood begins at the entrance. So this is one hour after two hours. This is like two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes after the flood begins. So I come over here again and I say, oh, well, uh, 1800, that was when the flood began. And I want to be, I don't know, two hours, uh, two hours and four, two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes, something like that. Let's just put two and a half in there. Let's look at the answers. So the answers are quite spread out. Um, so, and, and, uh, that's because, uh, so wait, so that's zero, three, uh, zero, one, 20, 30. That's the answer. Okay. Now, if I had thought it was two hours and 45 minutes, I still would have zeroed in on that. There is a little bit of very vari variability in, in the, in the, in your answer, but that is reflected in, in how spread apart the answers are that the, that the Coast Guard would give you. Anyway, we want to leave somewhere around two hours and 30 minutes, two hours and 45 minutes after the flood begins.